Hello everybody and welcome back to another Big Finish Torchwood main range review. In today's review we're going to be stepping back into some of the latest releases of the Torchwood main range of 2022 with a Torchwood Death in Venice as written by James Goss featuring Sophie Aldred as Ace or Dorothy McShane alongside Paul Clayton as Mr Colchester from the excellent Big Finish Torchwood continuation series. This release is available to purchase now on the official Big Finish website in both physical CD and digital download formats. It can also be purchased as part of a bundle alongside the most recent Torchwood Main Range stories. So the Torchwood Main Range is a series that I've strayed away from over the last few months, and I can't lie, I've really missed it. It's definitely been a range of consistent stories each and every month, delivering something new and different in a completely different location. And the stories always stick with me as a listener, especially given that I listen to quite a lot of Big Finish, the Torchwood Main Range does make an impact. I must admit, the reason why I'm taking a look at Death in Venice in particular is because it features two superb characters, but also, of course, we have the imminent return of Sophie Aldred in the upcoming BBC Doctor Who Centenary special later in October, so I thought it would be a very fitting time to take a look at this story. And not only that, we also have the return of Mr Colchester, who is absolutely superb. Death in Venice is one of those Torchwood stories which I think sells itself. For starters, the cover art by Sean Longmore makes this episode look stunning. Cover art really is important for Big Finish releases, as I think a lot of people can definitely have their decision made on whether or not to purchase a story, judging by how much they like the cover art. Unless an episode already has quite an accepted, highly regarded reputation, brilliant stories can often go unheard by many if the visuals aren't as exciting as the story itself. In a way, it's very much like a book. People always say, don't judge a book by its cover, but with Big Finish, I think sometimes it's very hard not to do that. I would not be surprised if Death in Venice is one of the highest selling tortured releases of 2022, because very much like The Red List, this story infuses two very different areas of the Doctor Who universe together. It is of course also excellent marketing, with the release of this audio drama kind of coinciding with the BBC Centenary special coming up very soon in October. It's interesting because the inclusion of an older version of Ace has been quite prominent within the expanded media over the past few years, with a few appearances in other Doctor Who spin-offs, the likes of Class, but also we had the Doctor Who main range story Dark Universe with the Seventh Doctor and the Eleven, as well as a few other appearances here and there, which suggest we have this older version of Ace working for a charitable earth. So it's going to be interesting to see if the TV story is faithful to those previous appearances. I really hope so. I think Sophie Aldred knows her character inside out, so I'm sure she'll be very protective of doing things right. This story sees a rather personal threat to the charity, with a number of problematic events leading to support suspending their donations to the charity itself. Some funding has been misallocated, and now Dorothy has been photographed in first class drinking wine with thanks to Mr Colchester. It's soon clear that the charity is at threat of closure, and Mr Colchester is here to protect Dorothy while she travels to see Albert, someone who could get a charitable earth out of a rather sticky situation. I really love that when we first meet Mr. Colchester at the very beginning of this story, there's a little Torchwood jingle in the background in the soundtrack, very much like how it appears within the Doctor Who universe when Captain Jack first appears. It's a lovely way to kind of tie this series together. Unlike when I listened to The Red List, I now have much more knowledge on Mr. Colchester as a character. In fact, I've just finished a massive marathon of listening to the entire team of Torchwood Aliens Among Us. A review of that will hopefully be on the way soon. As always, Mr. Colchester is superb, and what makes his stories with Dorothy so interesting is that rather strong disconnect between the actions of a charitable Earth and Torchwood. Within this story, there is a lovely moment where Dorothy recollects her time with the Doctor saving worlds, However, Mr. Colchester suggests an alternative perspective to those adventures that her and the Professor simply wander off into the distance and leave the rest of the people left behind to pick up the pieces. It's clear that the relationship between Dorothy and Mr. Colchester is becoming warmer. They work incredibly well together as a team, and I think this story presents the dynamic brilliantly. 
As for the plot itself, I love its use of location. So many countries and varied locations make this episode so over budget to make on an actual TV show, but the result on audio makes it feel very cinematic and a blockbuster experience. Much like a Bond film, there are so many action sequences and stunts as the duo are on the run from people trying to track down Ace and kill her. The plot itself is rather simple, seeing a charitable Earth infiltrated right underneath Dorothy's nose. It's certainly not an overly complex plot, and the climax is over incredibly quickly. I think perhaps a few additional obstacles along the way would have padded out this story a bit more. I can't fault the locations, as there is simply so many. But maybe having more to do within these locations may have made the episode run a little bit more smoothly, in my opinion. But what would I know? Ultimately, if it wasn't for this superb dynamic between the main protagonists, the narrative would be at risk of falling flat. But as always with this series, that bond between rich character and bold stories make this series so welcoming and easy to listen to. And on that note, when talking about the listening experience, Blair Moat does another incredible job with the music score. I'm constantly blown away by his contribution to the Torchwood spin-off range. It has undeniably been fundamentally shaped by his brilliantly varied music scores. This episode opens and concludes with some lovely orchestral music, which again makes the story feel grand, cinematic, but also quite new. And of course it doesn't stop there, the soundtrack is throughout the entirety of the story, it definitely evokes the setting very nicely, but also I love the fact that at this point within the Torchwood line at Big Finish, each individual range now has almost its own defined music score, to the extent of having different theme tunes for different eras, but also different variations on themes to reflect those different eras. So you have those little rings and melodies in there which kind of follow Torchwood throughout the years. As always, with Dorothy McShane Torchwood stories, they do tread a rather unusual territory, as it's the closest Torchwood has really got to Doctor Who itself. Subsequently, some of the darker themes and language have been toned down, but there is still quite a big threat, some violence, and a little bit of death in there as well. As I mentioned within my review of the Tenth Doctor Classic Companions box set, I would not at all be surprised if after the airing of the BBC Centenary special, Big Finish announced a charitable Earth spin-off coming in 2023 and beyond. I think at this point Ace has appeared in her older version of herself now in so many different series, and a lot of these releases, in particular this one and the previous Classic Companions Tenth Doctor box set, seem to be setting up a charitable Earth to have at least some think in the future. And speaking of the future, I think that's what these stories always feel like to me, especially with the presence of Colchester. I could imagine living in a world where Torchwood has its continuation series for more box sets after the likes of Gods Among Us, and it runs concurrently with a, a charitable Earth spin-off, and every once in a while, Mr. Colchester and Ace hop between and share character plots within both of the series, and it's almost like an intertwined set of adventures, but also two standalone on spin-offs at the same time. Yes, there are differences between the charity and Torchwood, but I think with Colchester at the helm, there is definitely a middle ground blossoming between the organisations, which is ripe for more stories in the future. So overall, what do I think of Torchwood Death in Venice? I think this is a really enjoyable story, and that is solely down to the main protagonists. I think once more, it's really interesting to shed light on this rather intriguing dynamic with two people essentially at the lead of their own organisation, which certainly share different beliefs, and in particular with the likes of A Charitable Earth. It's interesting seeing one of the Doctor's companions going on to do something to try and help others, but simultaneously have the problems that any other charity would have, being why solve this when you have a corporate giant that can essentially get loads of money from it, and it does have a rather dark theme running throughout, which is rather interesting to listen to, but as I've mentioned throughout this review, I think that if it wasn't for these two main leads within this story, the episode may fall a little bit flat in parts, because you wouldn't have that strong bond tying the episode together. I think that the episode itself from a plot perspective is not particularly brand new or experimental, it's just merely a lot of fun. It's a very easy Big Finish listen that I imagine you could easily listen to multiple times without really needing to think too deeply about the plot itself. 
but that's sometimes okay, because especially a lot of the tortured main range stories can be quite dark and sometimes quite hard-hitting, so it's nice to have an episode that is somewhat a bit more light relief, but also at the same time have very high stakes personally hitting home for Dorothy McShane. So thank you very much for watching this review, I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do of course stay tuned on the host Productions for regular Big Finish audio drama reviews. And of course I hope you all enjoyed The Power of the Doctor, the BBC Centenary special, on the way later in October. And if you are excited for that story, maybe purchase this episode in the meantime to whet your appetite. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I shall see you all next time.